Okay, folks, let's get started. I know international news is not always the most fun to follow, but it is some of the most important news to follow. Many of you know this symbol on your screen, the United Nations, of course. Or you can take this, the organization of unelected officials that are trying to steer the very destiny of so many countries, but now those countries are fighting back. Those countries are fighting mad. Something broke, and I hope you know what it was. The United Nations, as they state here, peace, dignity, and equality on a healthy planet. Well, you could take all that and throw it in the garbage now. Because what they have now been implicated in could change the very course of the United Nations. What do we do? We maintain international peace and security, they state. Protect human rights, deliver humanitarian aid, promote sustainable development, and uphold international law. You could take all that and throw it in the garbage too. A maneuver that has Israel and so many nations so infuriated because there is now blood on their hands. That is the accusation. It is beyond serious. It is a horrific implication because members of the UN have now been implicated in the attack in Israel by Hamas. You see there on your screen those horrific events. I can't believe the report we're about to bring to you. My name is Justice, and I can't thank you enough for being here today. Thank you for letting us break in. Didn't intend on doing a broadcast today, but this is way too important to skip. So Lisa said, Justice, get out there. We got to do this. We got to do it fast. Man, I, what you're about to learn will just be beyond your imagination. But we love you all. Hope if you haven't subscribed to Lisa's channel, make sure you are still subscribed. If you're new here, make sure you do subscribe. We can't welcome you enough. If you haven't been to my channel, Lisa will put a link just above. Click on it. That means the world to us. We'll flip-flop back and forth. Keep the news fresh. Keep it going. You can find us both at Restricted Republic. There's a link below for some free videos on us. If you like what we're doing there, go ahead and use discount code TRUMP2024. We'll give you $5 a month for three years, 14 days for free. That is where we do all our exclusive content. And on top of that, all these videos can be found there with no commercials or no interruptions. RestrictedRepublic.com. But let's get on with the story. I'm still speechless as to what's been uncovered. Here on CNN just a few days ago, 24 soldiers killed on deadliest day for Israeli forces in Gaza combat. The Israeli military military's large-scale bombing campaign in Gaza has been ongoing since the October 7th murder and kidnapping rampage by Hamas and the gunman that saw some 1,200 people killed in Israel and more than 250 taken hostage. 132 hostages remain in Gaza to the date of this publication. Of those 104 are believed to still be alive. We can never let this event be watered down, especially now when you find out how the United Nations was involved. No, can't make this up. Their sub-organization, UNRWA, offering humanitarian aid into Gaza, has now been implicated in the horrors of that day. More significant news I could not bring you. Humanitarian assistance reaches UNRWA shelters in northern Gaza for the first time since the war began. You wonder why Israel might be a little bit upset by this. That they have been implicated, members of the UNRWA, in the very attacks that they are now providing humanitarian aid towards for the retaliation of Israel, as Israel against what occurred. The UN Agency for Palestinian Refugees fired a number of staffers in Gaza suspected of taking part in the October 7th attacks by Hamas and other militants on southern Israel. Its director said Friday prompting the United States, the agency's biggest donor, to temporarily halt its funding. But there's a bigger story behind that. A much bigger story. Donald Trump was right Again, we'll get there. The agency known by its acronym, UNRWA, has been the main agency providing aid to Gaza's population. The humanitarian disaster caused by Israelis' offensive against Hizmat. No, it was actually caused initially 
by Hamas's attack on Israel. As a result, now Israel's offensive against Hamas, let's rephrase this the right way, UNRWA officials did not comment on the impact that the U.S. halt in funding would have on its operations. UNRWA Chief Felipe Lazzarini said it terminated contracts with several employees and ordered an investigation after Israel provided information alleging they played a role in the attack. The U.S. State Department said there were allegations against 12 employees. UNRWA has 13,000 staffers in Gaza, all of them Palestinian. You see the problem here. Just the tip of the iceberg of the problem. Lazarini called the allegations shocking and said that any employee involved in the acts of terror would be held accountable, including through criminal prosecution. He did not elaborate on what the staffers' alleged roles were in the attacks. In the unprecedented surprise attack, Hamas fighters broke through the security fence surrounding Gaza and stormed nearby Israeli communities, killing around 1,200 people, as we mentioned prior. UNRWA reiterates its condemnation of the strongest possible terms of the abhorrent attacks of October 7th and calls for the immediate and unconditional release of all Israeli hostages. So he stated, too late, bud. Too late. It was too late a long time ago. But I don't want this to surprise anyone. Don't think that the U.S. is taking a tough position. I'll tell you why. U.S. suspends funding to U.N. agencies amid claims that staff were involved in Hamas attacks. Oh, you paused funding. The U.N. Secretary General is horrified by the news that workers with the U.N. Relief and Worker Works Agency of UNRWA may have been involved in the attack. So they're going to do an urgent and comprehensive independent review, but nations aren't waiting for that review. Nah, because we've known about this forever. This is nothing new. Major donors pause funding for UN agency as scandal widens. Of course it widens, and it's going to continue to widen. Because we've had indicators before. Germany, Britain, and at least four other countries said Saturday they were suspending funding for the United Nations agency that provides water, food, and essential services for Palestinian civilians in the Gaza Strip, many of whom have been described as being on the brink of starvation. You see how they always put that in there? Nobody wants to see anyone suffer. No innocent civilian should suffer. It's not the story. You can't whitewash it in that story. Felipe Lazzarini can't whitewash it in that story. He has a problem. A major problem. A problem that's existed before. A problem we have dealt with before, but the Biden administration reversed course on, and hence we have the disaster now we have. Lazzarini calls the suspension collective punishment for Gaza and warned that if its funding were not restored, it would adversely affect its humanitarian assistance program. It is shocking to see a suspension of funds to the agency in reaction to the allegations against a small group of staff. Come on, it was only a few. We had control of this. Ah, we had control of this. But once again, we released control. We funded another organization that causes civilian casualties. Again. UNRWA and their life-saving aid may end due to funding suspension. How is that our problem? You have had an internal controls problem for longer than I can remember. And I'm going to remind this audience of how bad it is. The agency supporters say the allegations aim to diminish the long festering refugee issue. No, it does not have anything to do with that. It does not because Italy, Australia, Switzerland, the United Kingdom, Canada, Germany, Italy, Australia, Finland, Netherlands, Switzerland all realize this. They're all rushing to defund the UNRWA. It should be the UN end of story. And why? Employees at U.S. funded United Nations agencies celebrated Hamas terror attacks, terror massacre. 100 Hamas terrorists who attacked Israel likely educated at UNRWA schools in Gaza. UN teachers celebrated the attack, praised Hamas terrorists as heroes on Telegram. Independent watchdog has to report on this. This has been known, but who reversed course and who decided to fund them? This 
is a show. U.S. pause funding the U.N. agency for Palestinians after claimed staffers were involved in Hamas attacks. A PR move designated to preempt congressional action. It doesn't change anything. It doesn't change the fact that the UNRWA is complicit in Hamas war crimes and remains a key obstacle to peace. Goldberg, currently a senior advisor at the Foundation for Defense of Democracies, added the State Department under President Trump had cut ties with the UNRWA in 2018. But guess who resumed the relationship? Joe Biden. Here we are again. He continued to improve spending for the organization, not only reestablish, but improve funding with funds exceeding $1 billion. How is this acceptable? Now you see why countries are rushing to pull funding from the UN. This is a disaster of epic proportion, and it's barely being covered. Thankfully, a few good people in Congress are finally doing what they should have done a long time ago. Mike Lee from Utah introduces the act to defund and depart the UN, H.R. 6645, the Fund Act of 2023, now being pushed through to 2024. Sponsor Chip Roy, in this case, in case you need any more reason to defund the UN after what I just declared to you, what else would you need? Thankfully, some people are finally standing up and helping people take notice. This is beyond a serious allegation. Because the very organization going into Gaza, 100% Palestinian, implicated now in potential war crimes, implicated in the disaster, implicated in the massacre on Israeli citizens, is the ones providing relief to Gaza Strip under the banner of the United Nations. A more significant international story I could not find for you. It was absolutely imperative we brought it to you today. On behalf of Lisa Haven and myself, I love you all. Somber note today, man. This this just sucks. Absolutely freaking sucks that this continues to go on and your and my tax dollars are funding it. How freaking ridiculous. Is Things need to change, man. Things just need to freaking change. I love you all. Until next time, Godspeed and God bless. Justice Night, signing out.